I need to fix it. I need to fix it because if I get sacked in the last year with Milan, this is going to be horrendously embarrassing. So, yeah, I have to fix it. I have to fix it. I can't not fix it. Oh, for God's sake. Can we ignore it? Can we just pretend that, you know, now that I've won the Syria title, we don't care about Syria and, you know, whatever happens, whatever position I finish in won't have any impact on my job? No. Right then. Well, yeah, it's not going great at the moment, viewers, if I'm honest with you. It's not going great. In the league, we're horrendous. In the Champions League, however, we're absolutely fantastic. And that's one of the games that we are going to be playing in in today's episode. So strap yourself in. You're in for quite the roller coaster of a ride. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to episode 34 of the AC Milan Awake the Sleeping Giant series. And as you can see... It's been a very mixed bag so far this year. A very, very mixed bag. I feel like there's a little bit of complacency uh, starting to creep up in our side that's having a major impact on the performances. But we may be very, very uh, complacent and inconsistent, but we did beat Juventus 6-0. So, you know, for every negative, there's a positive. So, you know, that 6-0, we'll get on to it in a second. It was bloody glorious, and I'm furious that I didn't record it. So, yeah, we'll go into that in just a second. So, obviously, the last episode was the 3-1 defeat at home to Cagliari, where I very, very nearly like lost my absolute rag with the boys after the defensive horrendousness from Bartolini. If you haven't seen it, I'll play it on screen and my reaction. Why, why, why would you not go towards him? He literally goes away. What is he doing? Not great, if I'm honest. But since then, we have played three games, two wins uh, and one loss. Thankfully, Bartolini hasn't played in any of these games. So there's no risk of any defensive horrendousness coming up in the next few games uh, the first game was our second game in the Champions League Group G against Atle uh, uh, Atletico Madrid uh, at home where we did manage to beat them 2-0 so can we beat Cagliari at home no but can we beat one of the sp best Spanish sides um, playing in the La Liga. Yes, we can. Of course we can. Uh, a very, very good performance from the boys. Uh, very, very 50-50 uh, game, if I'm honest. We had the better of the chances. Thankfully, Belotti put us ahead quite early on, which sort of put us in the driver's seat a little bit and took the pressure off us. Um, and then Cucurella scoring an own goal in the 66th minute, which sort of allowed us to go in a little bit of cruise control, sort of uh, control the game and sort of see the game out. So... Um, yeah, arguably our most difficult game in our group is against Atletico Madrid. I can't say Atletico Madrid, right? I've just said it then. Brilliant. Uh, against Atletico Madrid, uh, we still obviously need to go to their uh, home stadium, which will be a much, much more difficult game um, than it was when they came to the San Siro. However, that has put us in a very, very good position in Group G, topping the table so far. The only team to not get a loss, um, and we do have, uh, we do still have to play Shakhtar, which is going to come up today. Um, so hopefully we can keep our unbeaten run going. And so if I want, we need to win this group really, because uh, obviously if we get second place, there's more of a chance of us getting a really, really tough side. Um, so the easier we can make our run in, the better. And I'm hoping that we can top, uh, top this group uh, pretty easily and pretty quickly, so I can focus on the league a little bit, where obviously we are most struggling. The next game was against Lazio, where we were away from home. So a very, very difficult uh, game. Obviously, Lazio are definitely one of the top sides in Serie A. And we've had some interesting experiences with them back in the summer. Uh, Luis Alberto is still playing for them, who is still unbelievable on this year. He is like, if you don't get him on a draft, like if you do drafts, get this guy because he is ridiculous. Like, he's so good. Like, I've never seen anyone uh, with... Uh, 20 flair uh, such good passing like he's so good for someone that not many people know about 
Here's a question to you, uh, people that are watching. Uh, who's the most influential player you've ever had in any of your saves? This year or last? Let's go to last year as well. It could be a region, could be uh, a player that is uh, obviously plays in real life. Let me know. I'm curious. And tell me what they did. Why were they so influential? And, uh, you know, what, what impact did they have? So let me know. That's the question. That's your homework today, ladies and gentlemen. I'll, uh, I'll reply to them. Once again, pretty even game. Uh, you'd arguably say, uh, well, we did have the more shots, uh, the more possession. However, by 0 0.01, Lazio uh, had a better expected goal, which means they obviously meant to win the game. Um, I just think we were a lot more, uh, We were they were more clinical with their chances. Uh, obviously, they have some fantastic players in the Mobley, who's once again unbelievable on this year. Uh, Luis Alberto had a really good game. They've got Diogo G Jota. I'm not sure if we played against him last year. Uh, we we would have done yes uh, one in three so far um, so they've got a pretty decent side I was hoping that as we get through the years some of these teams will start sort of uh, declining a little bit just because of how um, sort of the ages of their squad especially Lazio is obviously a Mobley 33 and uh, Luis Alberto 32 respectively they've got loftus cheeks so uh, potentially the sentiment dynamo that they've always wanted uh, the next game which I know you're all going to ask questions about and I'm not going to lie I'm furious that I didn't record this I wish I recorded it so badly because I was coming up to this game because on the last episode I didn't I didn't say what game I was coming back to I was like do I come to back to the Juventus game I haven't beat Juventus before I'm probably going to get battered considering I'll run a form uh, or do I come back for the Champions uh, group game I was like we're probably going to lose against Juventus let's go Champions group game no decided to beat Juventus 6-0 in the biggest win of this series so far against our arch rivals so you know it's um it's gone well for viewers it's gone very well but absolutely unbelievable performance and probably the best performance we've ever had in this series from our boys. David Nero scoring four goals, which with a 10 rating as well, that is that is ridiculous. David Nero has got himself four goals. Belotti and Lacazette getting themselves on the score sheet as well. As you can see from the, um, from the ratings, our entire team played unbelievably well. And this... This was just ridiculous. I've never seen us play this well. Um, I've never seen... Like, Juventus were so lacklustre. I don't know what had happened to them. Um, well, I mean, with that formation, you're going to be very lacklustre. Uh, they still got Cristiano Ronaldo, who's had a who has been very, very effective against us in the years gone by. However, he could do nothing against our back four, which was nice to see. Um, they're playing five at the back, which is a little bit strange for Juventus. But, yeah, we were the better side by an absolute distance like i'm talking to your local co-op and back that's how much better we were by that amount of distance obviously if it's about two meters double that by about 50 and then that's how right crack on so as i said our game coming up is against shaktar i think we have played them in the past uh i believe uh, yeah we did we had them in the group stage last year uh obviously i don't think they got out of the group stage uh i'm not too sure uh i'm not gonna have a look because i can't find them um i don't think they got out of the group stage if i'm honest so they will be looking for some sort of revenge against uh, against the milan boys coming into this game we are away from home so this is going to be a very very difficult game uh, however with the six nil morale boost and victory we've got against juventus it's um it, it's looking good for us i feel like i feel like we have a much better chance now uh obviously we have a very very strong side going out the morale is going to be skyrocketed and the wang has started to up his performances a little bit uh, which is nice to see obviously me and him still not on talking terms however with the likes of max aaron's not registered it is unfortunate he is gonna have to play now we do once again we have such a strong bench i feel like uh we do play winaldum and castavilli so i'm thinking i might stick with this side um i might yeah i'm probably gonna stick or do i uh, florentina louise is too good of a player not to play um and i feel like castavilli had a, a poor game last uh, not poor game, but he's not as good as Marcus Antonio, so we are going to play him. And when Aldum's had a an in a very very good um, run in the side, four games, three assists, he's been absolutely unbelievable so far in that box to box role. And considering he's thirty two, his obviously physicals are going to start declining in the next few um, next year or so. I'm probably going to say it's nice to see him do pretty well. Obviously, a Liverpool fan, I love Wijnaldum, so I'm hoping that will continue. Um, so yeah, this is the side that we're probably going to go into this Shakhtar game with. Uh, the Wang is struggling a little bit with his um, 
with his condition. So I'm, I'm probably going to have to keep him in the side annoyingly. However, I'm pretty confident. Uh, obviously, we still have Luca out, unfortunately. Oh, no, he's back. So, But he's not actually fit. I am going to put him on the bench. Actually, I want to see if my assistant puts him on the bench. Uh, he doesn't. So we are going to put him on the bench, potentially give him a run out. Um, coming in like in the final 20 minutes if we're up by two or three goals, just get his fitness back up. Um, but if we get a win here, that does... I don't want to say it basically secures our progress into the next uh, next stage, but with games at home to the likes of Shakhtar and Basel, I feel like it's pretty, it's pretty nailed on, or at least if we don't win, we'll definitely get seconds. Um, there's no one here I recognise, unfortunately. Is Marley I recognise? I believe he's a right back or a left back i think uh, i'm expecting you to win tonight boys wang is motivated he'd love to see it uh, and david neres will perform because he scored four against Juven uh, against juventus i'm not saying that juventus is a better side than shaktar but juventus shaktar i'll let you decide so let's get into the game ladies and gentlemen come on i have just realized i always say come on as a battle cry at the start of every game i feel like i need another uh, another battle cry. Let's go, team! That may be all. Uh, let's go! Or, you know, boys, uh, 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 Milan, assemble. That'll be the It's not going to be the. I'll let you decide. Right, we have got a chance. I'm glad. Saved by the chance. Uh, David Neres, ball to the wang. L big ball in. However, I don't know what the keeper's doing there. 1 0 up. The stat. Right. What? What is going on with the stands? Right. I mean, where is everyone? Where, where it literally? Where is every sausage in here? There's no one here. Shakhtar. I don't want to say you have no fans, but I sound like the guy on the meme that says you have no fans. Whatever it is, you know what I'm on about. I, I forgot what it's called. I'll play it on screen. You don't know French. You don't know French. Dominant performance so far from the boys. Uh, Ten shots to their one. Um, as long as we keep up this sort of intensity. In going into the second half, it's been a very boring first half. Other than the goal, nothing's happened. I think that we are going to start making some changes. Um, try and bring some fresh legs on. We're going to bring on Benneker for a win album. We'll bring on Ajer for... Mm, actually, no, we won't. We'll bring on Pellegri on for Grimaldo because Grimaldo is struggling with a little bit of a knock. And we'll see if that does anything. I would like a few more chances because it will do our... Uh, goal difference, a world of good. And Atletico Madrid are beating Basel as well, uh, which is nice to see. Devin Neres, uh, is the Wang going to be involved again? Florentino, his lovely bald head, um, shining in the sun. David Neres on the right side. Him and the Wang have been sort of uh, linking up quite nicely recently. Florentino, the Wang, Florentino, it's one twos. David Neres, right. Can we pass to anyone other than ourselves? Marcus Antonio, lovely ball to Lacazette. And that is the sort of play that we needed last year from a centre midfielder. Marcus Antonio with a lovely threaded through ball into Lacazette, giving us a 2-0 comfortable victory. 1-2 between the Wang and Florentino then, David Neres. So they're basically playing Rondo together. Marcus Antonio, lovely slot. It's a weird pass, but um, the Shakhtar defence doesn't have an absolute clue what to do when Marcus Antonio's on the ball. And that is a fantastic finish from Lacazette. Obviously getting himself in the goals now, which is nice. Uh, their centre-back, Vital gets caught out and yes i think uh, i think more subs are going to be on the way viewers set piece been occur on the corner it's a ball in it is cleared away initially by vital can we get that ball back in potentially been occur ball to ibanez hopefully we don't lose it marcus antonio is he going to lovely ball to david neres on the right side can he cross it he doesn't he's going to go all the way and he hits the side net and arguably should have sweated it across because we are scumbags and there's another chance pellegrini benneker but it's cleared away again let's not counter attack here ah right losev losev can we tackle him oh he's gone past his man but even as it's on the case or milat milakovic or whatever his name is that's a great tackle from milakovic what a tackle that is it's a poor ball out though from Lacazette. Uh, can I play? Can I play? I don't know. I don't, you know what you know what I'm trying to say. Kornelenko. The Wang. I tell you what. Is this going to be our chance? Because this will be ridiculous if it is. It's not. It's, we're sort of trying to... We're rushing it a bit. Which I'm not a fan of. Give us, is this a chance? I don't know if it is. Uh, it looks like it is. They've got on the left-hand side again. They're trying... That's a great ball. But Enkias with a fantastic save to the his right hand side getting a lovely hand to it giving up for a corner danger's not done yet though uh, Vital uh, heads over 
And I think it is time for a sub here. I think we are going to bring on Tisvili for... Actually, no, we're not. We'll bring on Ajer for Ibanez because Ibanez is on a book and he seems to be struggling a little bit. Uh, try and see out this game. I think we are going to start time wasting as well. Uh, actually, no, we're not. We're not. We're not. We're gonna. We're gonna play fair. We aren't gonna be that fifteen, like not even like like ten year old on FIFA that screams through the microphone and starts sweating it across the back four in the forty fifth minute because he's winning one nil. We're not gonna be that person. David Neres and Marcus Antonio love ball to Belotti. Can he finish it? He doesn't. Wow. You would have put your house on him finishing there. And what a performance, by the way. I've just seen our shots. Uh, we've got 19 shots. Pellegrini, love, uh, lovely header. However, can't get to it. We have just tried to tug him on the shirt, whoever this is. Lacazette, putting the pressure on. Go on, Lacazette, my boy. Uh, Florentino, a lovely header. Benneker, lots of space on the on the flank. But it's an interesting ball. Blotty can't get to it, unfortunately. Kind of player. Uh, it's a poor... Oh, it, whoever that was should have got to that. Marcus Antonio. But it's a poor ball. It's very, like... Um, rough around the edges this football at the moment. It's very sloppy from both sides. We're losing the ball quite a lot. David Neres, Marcus Antonio. It might be worth... Um, see what I mean? That's a great ball. Is it going to be 3-0? It doesn't. Belotti with another poor finish. He's had probably... He's had about three chances in this game to get a hat-trick. Well, three chances in the game uh, to score, which would have gave him his hat-trick. And he hasn't taken them, unfortunately. Lacazette, Florentino, Belotti... Oh, it's a poor ball again. And thankfully, Shakhtar don't have a chance to counter-attack. However, we have just done a shout to make them focus a little bit more, see if that will do anything. And Atletico Madrid are being Basel 5-0, which is ridiculous. 3-0, maybe. Um, David Neres thankfully gets the ball. Otherwise, Shakhtar could be on the counter-attack. Pass it back to Melankovic. Florentino. Blotti. It's some lovely football. Oh, that's great. That is lovely football. And Blotti... Gets his goal, arguably. Uh, oh, it's his second goal, so he could have had his hat trick if he would have took them shots, if he would have put them chances away. But Marcos Antonio, in the thick of things again, finds himself some lovely amount of space, slots it through Nisley, I'm assuming that is uh, Benna Kerr, but Belotti um, capitalises on their uh, defensive mistake to put us 3 0 up away from home and could potentially be 4 here. Lacazette, Pellegrini, ball in. And 4-0. What a performance. 10 goals in two games. Wow. 10 goals in four games. 10 goals in two games, sorry. What what form we're on at the moment. I mean, we have lost a few this year. However, we are, it feels like we're starting to catch our stride a little bit. That Juventus game felt like a little bit of a fluke. But away from home against Shakhtar, smashing them 4-0 with the performance we've just pulled out the bag is nothing to be like... Nothing to ignore. I feel like we've put down a real statement there. And that uh, does give us, I feel like, quite a bit of breathing room in the group stage. Uh, we are four points clear with three, three games to... Yeah, three games to go, uh, which will be against... Who have we played so far? Oh, no, we, we need to play anyone else. So we've got Shakhtar and Basel at home. So you'd expect us to get six points there. And obviously, Atletico Madrid game will be pretty difficult. So what, what a result. That, can we do a team meeting, maybe? Let's see if we can do a team meeting. Right, let's ignore that. Let, let's ignore that, viewers. I didn't. I, I completely rushed that. So where do you want to come back for? I actually want to be organised in this episode. I don't want to just come back to a random game. Uh, shall we come back for... Oh, we're definitely playing the Super Cup final. Of course we are, gentlemen. Of course we're playing the Super Cup final. Uh, we are going to come back for... Hmm... I'm, I'm, I'm curious, you see. I'm bloody curious. Shall we come back for the Atlanta, Atlanta game? I think we shall. Um, actually, no. We'll come back for the Palmer game. Uh, that's what we'll do. So we've got a whole month. We'll come back for the Palmer game because then we'll be able to play quite a lot of games in the league and the Champions League to give us sort of an idea how we're going to be getting on. Uh, and if obviously, if we haven't progressed through the Champions League, we'll play Atletico Madrid in the episode after as well. So, yeah. Uh, that's what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen. And it's time for the outro once again ladies and gentlemen thank you all so much for watching i really really do appreciate it if you've liked the episode feel free to like it and subscribe and turn your notifications on ding ding you know all that bajazzle um and feel free to leave me some feedback as well as i said the series is coming to an end in the next uh, week and a half and we have got a new series that is going to be happening on this channel so hopefully you're going to be looking forward to it but of course twitter and twitch everything here come and follow me uh come and watch me when i'm live we all have fun um and also this 
Wheel of Fortune gets used a lot. If you haven't seen it before, there it is. That's the Wheel of Fortune. As you can see, there's some options on there. If you don't know what they are, you'll have to wait and see, won't you? And you'll have to come and follow me on Twitch. But thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Keep yourself safe. Have a good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you next episode. Goodbye.